A university in Canada has recently decided to waive IELT and other English tests for Nigerians seeking admission. And of course, we, we already knew the new normal. The new normal was whenever you want to seek an admission to a, to a Canadian university, you have to go through some English approved test and most especially IELT, you know, high IELT is the most uh, popular one. So you have to go through it and there are certain amount of scores that will allow you to go to some certain university in Canada. Well, I think this is a welcome development. Despite Nigeria being a English speaking country, and yet they, we are still required to go through high ELTs. It's really damaging. Like I have on my own sat down to think about, okay, why do we even require high ELTs? When everyone, history, fully state that we were colonized by a English-speaking country. Nigerians were colonized by her English, the origin of English language. We were colonized by those people. Then why do we still need high ELT? Although we might, or definitely most of all, we, we may not be able to speak it fluently, but at least we can understand, we can write, we can read. So that is even enough. Our history is enough for a university in Canada, anywhere in Europe or any English speaking country out there to accept us into their universities without high ELT or any other, or any other English uh, test. Well, thank you to this Canadian university who have just recently uh, taken that step. So they said the at Basca University Canada has excluded Nigeria University for from its list of foreign applicants to write and pass English uh, before admission. The waiver for Nigeria comes after a Canadian-based Nigeria Don Dr. Olumo Yewa wrote to protest letter to the university. So coming to his demand. At the Basca University, Canada has deleted Nigeria from its list of countries to write International English Language Testing System IELT, test of English as a foreign language and other English tests before enrollment. Recall that the Igalobo Jobi, that's his name, a postdoctoral research fellow in the North Africa country last month achieved the same feat for Nigeria from University of uh, Albert, Canada. The waiver will be a victory for Nigerians who see the text as mounting to uh, summon, to summon before gaining admission to Canada University of their choice. Abola Jobi argued in, the, in his letter to the institution that Nigeria is an English-speaking country whose people should not be bothered to write IELT or TOFEL and others. According to him, since Nigeria teaches its children in English from elementary to tertiary level, this means the country is an English-speaking country. He also argued that English is the official language of business in Nigeria. Hence, is no need for further testing. In response to the letter, the school had now updated the list as it has recognized Nigeria as an English-speaking country. Report claimed that Ihabojobo said it is not good that country colonized by British are still being asked to prove they are they can speak English. He said it's, a, it's bad to request IELT from African countries colonized by the British. I have written about 12 universities to date. I will continue to identify universities with still list and those who wouldn't recognize Nigeria as an English-speaking uh, country. His brave, erotic gesture has been praised by social media users and other Nigerians after the story went viral. Honestly, I am praising you. If, even though you do not see this video, I want you to know that Africans 
Nigeria appreciate whatever you are doing. It has been a burden to many, many people out there. This IALT and others. How a country colonized by the British, the origin of English, and colonized by it. And when you come to Nigeria, from elementary to tertiary to businesses, businesses, if our federal government is making an announcement, public announcement everywhere, it uses English. Our government officials, they use English, writing their memo in English. Even uh, our sports, sport people doing commentaries and all those things, we use English. And yet, you want us to write an English test. You want us to write an English test. If you go to our airport, we communicate using English. If you go to our seaport, we communicate using English. When you meet Nigerians anywhere, we communicate using English. So I still don't understand why anyone will say, no, you have to write a test or English before admitting you into a university. When you tune into a Nigeria station, mostly uh, what you see about or what you hear about, we communicate using English. When you watch our movies, we communicate using English. Our official language is English. Official language is English, not even Pidgin English. Pidgin English, of course, is what most of us really understand, uh, can speak fluently, but it's still part of English. That's why we call it Pidgin English. So, everything about Nigeria is English, and yes, we need to write IELT. That is IELT. Okay, we'll be like, okay, I, I, I taught you how to drive a car, but you cannot drive this car. You have to drive that low graded car. For you to drive this car, you have to also go and meet another teacher to teach you how to drive this car. Giving us condition, 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 condition. You will give us something, you will give us condition to get that thing. Why do you people even colonize us from the first place? If you know you cannot accept us into your university and actually making us to write exams and exams, 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 exams. Well, it's a welcome development. It's not a force. This guy has started something that is will change the course of history. This IELT and all the rest will waste our money in all the goddamn time. It has changed the course and very soon. ILT in Nigeria will be a history. We will not longer be doing it because I see it as a corrupt system. Although we may not be able to know how to speak English fluently, but that doesn't mean we do not understand you and we cannot speak and we cannot read and write. We can. We can read and write. We can. So we can communicate using English. So why should you be asking us to do IELT exam and all that English test out there before we can get admission into your university? And we were colonized by the British. So why are you asking us to? I think they should tell us an answer. Someone should give us an answer. This has been, this has been something that has been disturbing me for years, but. I don't know how to pick it up, but thank you for this guy. This guy really, really has started something that will change the course of history. Thank you again for bringing this up. I think it will be a relief to many, many Nigerians out there. Thank you again.